Hey everybody, what is going on? Alex B here today, and I I have a special video for my tech teacher out there. <clears throat> Considering that most of the stuff I have, uh, I've gotten from him, <clears throat> like the keyboard and the computer, and a copy of Windows 98, the CD is over there somewhere. So this goes out to him. This is my setup video. I haven't killed the computer yet. Keyword yet. It's not gonna die soon. I hope. Cause I'm work. I'm not pushing it. I'm working. I am working the processor on it though. So this goes out to you. So here's my new setup. Okay. So starting from the left to the right, we have an AOC 917s W display 1440 by 900 resolution and going next to that we have an insignia television going by 1360 by 768 very high resolution not demanding for the video card though uh, it has HDMI input but I'm using VGA because if I switch it to high definition the audio will go straight to the TV and I like my speakers going back to the monitor I really do like it I can choose. I can choose whether I want the monitor in the, the regular mode, run a uh, sport movie mode, uh, DVD mode, gaming mode, internet mode, text mode, or just regular mode, which I keep it in most of the time. Main rig is a Dell Optiplex 745. Now you may you may see not really much of a workhorse. But it's just an everyday computer. You can do some light gaming, get a Final Four, um, with the powerful Intel Core 2 dual processor. Now, even though it says designed for Windows XP, it can run Windows Vista just fine. I run it, works just fine, no problems. The, the main thing I don't like about this PC a lot is that it's just a CD writer. I need a DVD writer, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Looking at the inside of the machine, it's pretty basic inside with a couple of added extras, such as three hard drives, a video card, a wireless card, and a USB card. <coughs> Looking at the power supply, it's the stock Dell 300 watt power supply, but it's powerful. It can handle two video cards, three hard drives, four gigs of RAM. It's a pretty powerful supply. CD drive, as I said. It needs to be a DVD writer. Over down here, we have one of my hard drives, which has Windows Vista on it. 36 gigabyte hard drive, 10,000 RPM, very fast, and it sits in the floppy drive port, which, who needs floppy drives anymore? Down here, I have one 300 gig hard drive, so 36 gigabytes obviously isn't enough. Then one, hundred, one 500 gig hard drive. It looks like a styled state, I know, but it's a laptop hard drive. So it's 500 gig. It stores all my stuff on my other computer. Very powerful, very fast. So yeah, that was my new setup. I mean, it's not really new. It's always been that way. But the only really change is that I've put Windows this time on my computer. Um, so yeah, tech teacher, you know who you are. I don't want to say your name because certain people on YouTube. Um, but this video goes out to you. I will see you when school starts.